come to save the day. Welcome to Mighty House. This is a radio show for people with problems, home improvement problems, that is, and for people who want common sense guidance on how to build green and live a more sustainable lifestyle. Send an email or call into the show. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. Ron Calga with Mighty House. Also, we are back with Mike Novak in his house. See, we always seem to turn his house into a test bed somehow. <laughs> so... We started out, and you can go back, look through our old YouTube uh, page, and you'll find some stuff where we were air sealing the attic, and we did some electrical work, and then we insulated the very attic. But in the process of doing that, we found out that this 130-year-old home has a lot of other issues. Mike said, hey, you know what? Why don't we get in here, and let's see if we can air seal this house up a little bit better. You're from Insight Property Services, correct? Insight Property Services, yep. And so uh, go ahead and go over what we found out, because we already ran the blower door test, which is what you and, see. And may, I say, and may I say, it's important, this is the, the third party independent third party coming in and doing this test so that we have accurate results and, and nobody's trying to game the system here. Right, yeah. right. We are, we are uh, neutral, ruthless third party. <laughs> <laughs> we call it like we see it. Yeah. Um, and you know, the house is, it's been around for 130 years, right? Yeah. So we've got a good track record of at least structural stability. Um, Although yeah. we've got some shifting in, in, sure. in various places. Well, it's character. Like, that's no, called it's ca character. character. Okay. Um, and it's for the most part, it's been keeping most of the water out. So those are the two big ones. Keep yep. standing, keep the water out. Um, but air leakage is also a big deal. Insulation in the walls is a big deal. But air leakage is always going to be more important than insulation. Because if you've got air moving through your insulation, you've got filter. And filter doesn't do you any good in the walls. So we want to make sure that we're creating good air boundary between inside and outside. No, so what are your expectations for okay. what we can get it down to? So now here's what here's here's our plan. Okay. And and Joe and I have done a number of these before, but we've never had this opportunity to test. With an old house, we're gonna do new insulation. We're gonna insulate all the walls and air seals. Because we're balloon frame and there's no insulations in mm -hmm. in the outside walls. Which we've already have thermal scans to prove that. So then we can test that. So now what we want to do is test it, insulate everything, and then we're going to have Joe come back and test it and see how well we did with the air sealer. Okay. And then we're after that's done, we're going to test the windows. Because usually you come in, you insulate, you do the windows, and everything's done. You don't know point A to point B what really saved the most. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna I think break we're, it up here. we're going to break this up and break it into three pieces. So air seal, insulate. Let's see how much that saved you. Mm -hmm. And then install all the windows and then come back and test it again and see what we've got there. So that at some point we can we can really quantify how much it really is saving you. Now, how much money did we put into air sealing? How much money did we put into windows? And where's that return on investment? And what we always say on the show is air seal, insulate first, worry about your windows next. As long as there's no gaping holes in the windows. Yeah, right. If you're missing glass, yeah, there might be a problem. But <laughs> if you've got glass and it's sealed up, you're probably okay. And, and you need to air seal more than anything. And you guys were having a bit of a philosophical dis, uh, conversation in the kitchen about the effects of the windows versus the insulation. And, and I think you were arguing that, well, we're probably going to get some benefit from the windows as well. Yeah. Because they're 130 years old. Yeah. They're 130 years old. I mean, usually... I'm not get... sure these are all the originals. Do you have any idea? The ones in your office are not original, but the majority of them are. Okay. Yeah, you can see anything that is a counterweight pull in, yeah. in those, those are going to be original hardware. So you got, I mean, you get 40 years out of window, that's pretty good. These are 130. Yeah. So they've they've done three tours of duty. Yeah. <laughs> they... It's time to retire. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's time for them to go. So... I, I just, I found this a unique situation. That's why I wanted to, one, videotape it, two, get Joe in here so that we can really put some numbers on it so that the next time someone calls the show and says, hey, uh, I need to replace my windows, they're only 10 years old. You may not need to do that. Why don't you go around and find out where the real air is leaking in yeah. and stop that, save a bunch of money. And, that, and that's one of the, like you said, neutral third party. I, I don't sell windows. I don't sell furnaces. I don't sell insulation. Right. If you ask me, I won't do it for you. Right. But we are we are we are effectively the house doctors that are gonna write a prescription for your house. How do you get your house from where it is to where you want it to be in the most logical, cost effective order? So that's our goal. We're, and we're gonna stop back. We're gonna have uh, shoot a couple more of these. When we start doing the air sealing and insulating, we're gonna we'll have uh, have a, a couple of videos on that. And then when Joe comes back, we'll have it shoot another episode. And then we'll do windows and show you how we're doing the windows. And then again, one more time when Joe comes back. So hopefully we'll. Uh, have some fun and learn something. I'm sure looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, with
with that, I think we'll uh, sign off and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. All right.